So this week, VMware rele finally released um, the Access Connector 2108. And so we're going to take the time today to go through the install of that same Access Connector. This is uh, extremely important because we can now finally, for people who are running Horizon, Citrix, etc., can finally move on to a new connector and get away from the old million-year-old thing that they've been dealing with for so long. So I just double clicked on it and we're waiting for it to start up. So you see here, just wants to install Visual C, no big deal. So letting that happen. And away we go. So now our, our installer's up here, we're gonna hit next. Hit I accept. And so the first thing you're gonna notice is it's not an upgrade, it's a completely separate installer. And so that comes with its own set of challenges, which you'll see. So I'm just gonna accept everything, hit next, no big deal. Let it do its thing. So here's the first part. It needs a configuration file. Let's just show you how to get that. Okay, so we're back over here into VIDM. So what typically you'll see here is, so you have this error, right? You're in your legacy connector. And if we click on this connector, you notice that you can't do anything. So let's click reset connector selection, hit proceed, and this kind of reopens the whole migration deal. So now we're going to hit new, and you can see we're going to select that top option. And it just wants you to confirm, you know, you're not trying to use Horizon Cloud, thin app, etc. Proceed. So it wants me to go get the installer, which we already have. And now it wants me to, I'm going to, wants me to create a password. Kind of annoying because it makes you have use a ton of characters, but that's fine. You need 14 characters. Create the password. Here we are. Configuration file. Pretty simple. Um, so one thing to call out, so you're aware, is that with this configuration file. You need one port per connector, just to be aware. So I grab it, paste it in, easy peasy. We're gonna hit browse. So again, not can't highlight enough. If you have multiple connectors, you need to go recreate it for each connector. So I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna put in my magical password. And I always like to select custom so I don't need a proxy here, but you could do that. As you can see here, syslog, I don't have to worry about. So here, things start getting fun. So you want to upload in the root certificate for your Kerberos adapter. So you can hit browse. Let's see what we got. Do we get it here easily? Um, so the easiest place to go for it. So we're going to grab that. We're going to go grab that. Put it in here now. Sin root. So you can click on it and click Cert Details and you're gonna see your issue information, expiration, all that stuff, which is all good. Hit Next. Here's the trick. So what I found was, is that this thing doesn't, so you can't use 443, because I'll show you what happens. See, so it's already in use, because it's in use by Identity Connector. So what you're gonna be doing here is you're gonna be setting this to 444, and we'll talk more about that later, but you're gonna go 444, we're going to use our own SSL certificate. We're going to put in our user account. And then we're going to hit install. And so this is going to go through our standard install. And we're going to pause here for a minute. We'll come back when it's done. So we're back after some trials and tribulations of my lab. Finally decided to finish. See so install complete. We'll hit finish. Last thing is to show you. So you're going to see now two sets of services now that things are up and running. You'll see a little message here. Basically saying don't restart until after you complete your migration. So we'll hit no there. 
This is what I want to show you here. You'll see your VMware IDM connector, which is the old legacy 1903. You'll see all your new services here. You'll notice that the Coros auth service is being run by your service account. But yep, it's just that simple. We'll be back in a little bit.